If you are not watching Dearly Departed tours with Scott Michaels, you are sadly just, what are you doing? You know what I mean? What are you doing? I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Good morning, everybody, and happy Monday. The 18th. Monday, the 18th of September. We're already mid through September, and that blows my mind. It seems like we just started September. We got back from Ohio yesterday afternoon, exhausted, had a wonderful time with friends. You know, we went to the, the extravaganza, we went to the early bird, and then we went on, uh, on Friday. And, um, I didn't stay all day cause I, I started, I, I'm on different medicine and it was making me not feel very good. So we ended up leaving about one o'clock or so on Saturday. So I'm sorry if I didn't see you. I saw a lot of people, but if you wanted to, to say hi and I left, I'm sorry, I tried. There was at one point I got sick and I had to go hide between a, a truck and a, I grabbed a Walmart sack or like just a sack out of my flea market cart and had to go get, you know, it wasn't a fun day. So then I went home and took a nap and felt much better by that evening. So I'm feeling better now. I'm still just a little nauseous. This medicine is just making me, it's just basically kicking me on my rear. Mainly, I mean, we had a lot of fun just hanging out with our friends and doing some like activities. We went to a dairy farm and just a lot of fun stuff like that, that you probably saw snippets of in my vlog. And honestly, I was so much, it just kind of in the moment, just having fun with the people that I was with that I didn't really film a whole lot. So I'm sorry I didn't get more on camera, but it was just a lot of fun just kind of being there in the moment and enjoying in the moment. So Mark just left for San Francisco. He'll be gone all week for work and I'm going to work, work, work. I'm going to work, work, work all week long. I'm going to get some listings up on vamp. I'm going to, I, today I have to get my real done because I didn't do that before I left a bad girl so yeah I'm just gonna try to get organized and things like that in here this week I do have I did have some sales over the weekend so I'll show you what sold this this I forgot to bring this to enamor Amy I gotta ship that to her she bought that from me and I was meant to deliver it to her and I forgot it so I'm gonna ship it out to her today but these Ellie Smith uh moon and star three-piece canister set sold on virtual antique marketplace so I'm gonna get those shipped out as well as this little, um, I believe it is Kamar. Uh, yeah, Kamar, kangaroo. Uh, I actually tried selling it in a live sale and it did not sell, but it did sell on Virtual Antique Marketplace. So I'll get that shipped out. And then on eBay, this little gremlin guy, part of the Halloween horde, he's his, open your eyes. Look, his eyes open and he talks. It's another Jemmy. I think, I think, are you Jemmy? I did take the batteries out of him. Nope. He's just a Walmart made in Walmart stores. Oh no. There he is. He is Jemmy. Jimmy Industries Corp. So keep an eye out on these Jimmy animatronics. I have sold every single one that I have. Well, at least the ones that I have listed. I do have several more on the shelf that I'm going to try to get up and going this week. I'm going to try my hardest to get some of these other Halloween things listed. I mean, that's just some. I've got more back there and there um these are the i only this is all i came home with two bins from ohio which is fine because i'm gonna do some shopping this weekend i'm gonna list this foam critter gargoyle that's what you are gargoyle on ebay so that's what i'm gonna do today so i'm gonna get these things shipped then i'm gonna get my reel done and then i'm gonna start on some listings today well hello i am home Mark is in San Francisco. I thought I was going to work, 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 work. I ended up leaving the shop about four o'clock, went to the grocery store, got things to have girl dinners all week this week. I just got done having a um, pickle loaf sandwich and potato chips. And I got stuff to make pasta salad and baked potato. So girl dinner kind of things but I'm getting ready to edit a video close the curtains because Maybell obsessively barks at the hummingbirds Maybell so we had to block the daylight 
what's left because I was going insane. This little angel right here is being a little angel, a little angel baby kitty cat, Mr. Fluffy. That one, she came and look at me. She knows I'm talking about her too. She's really trying to see the hummingbirds through the curtains. But I had to put an end to that because it was getting a little ridiculous. So I'm going to edit a video. I may stay up a little bit later tonight and edit a video, maybe two videos. We'll see. We'll see. But I have been watching a documentary called Call Me Kate. And it's a documentary on Katherine Hepburn. So I'm going to watch all this kind of documentary, old Hollywood kind of things while Mark's away, get some videos edited and get up bright and early and have my sale tomorrow. I did get a lot of things listed today. I did get a lot of things listed. I'm going to do some cross listing tonight. So I'm going to have some computer work ahead of me tonight. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. And I will see you in the morning. Starbucks Tuesday is in the morning. See you in the morning. Good morning and happy Tuesday, the 19th. So today is live sale day for me. Um, and it's also Starbucks Tuesday. I don't know. I'm just not. Starbucks doesn't even sound good to me this morning. So I don't know what I even want to get. If I even want to go. I'm just, I'm still drinking my, my water. Grape Skittles flavored water. Is my current go-to it switches from time to time from week to week i mean i think i'm gonna go and just get a grande and not a venti we're just gonna get a littler one but i have a meeting today at 11 i did have some sales overnight i did stay up i i didn't stay up too late but i did get a video edited for the misty show so that video will go up today at three o'clock I gotta do some shipping. I need to start editing a, another video. I still have one video left from Kentucky. When I go on these trips, Mark and I try to film as many videos as we can. And during the summer months, AdSense is down, views are always down, so I kinda make those videos last a little bit longer. So I got one more Kentucky video to put up. So all the videos, the Shop With Me videos, I, I probably will put out the Springfield one soon just because that was kind of an event that just happened and a lot of people will be putting out content for that. But a lot of times the videos are like a month old, sometimes two months old. I'm getting ready to go on another trip where I'm going to be getting a crap ton of more videos to put in my bank. But that's just what I do to make it, it makes it easier on me to be able to get everything else done. It's just time management, I guess. Um, since, you know, I am doing everything myself, my shipping, my sales, my listing, my ship, I already said shipping, filming, shopping, cleaning, ugh, organizing, which is not what I've been able to do lately, plus all the things that are going on with VAMP. So just to make it a little bit easier on myself, sometimes my shop with me is are a little older. And I'm also sitting here thinking about how I'm going to be doing Vlogmas because I did Vlogmas last year. I know everybody loved it. I already got advent calendars those have already been pro procured one of them was i had to it was on uh you had it ordered early it was going to be sold out um but doing the videos daily and then editing them every day kind of killed me so i don't know how i'm going to do that for sure yet i'm still thinking about that part of it but anyway let's go to the starbucks the starbucks let's go to the starbucks Get us something. I'm not sure what. Maybe I'll just get a refresher. I don't know. Something with caffeine in it. And then I will get to the shop and we'll show you what sold overnight. I don't think I had any virtual antique marketplace sales, but I did have three eBay sales. So we'll get those pulled. All right, let's go to Starbucks. So I got something that was a little bit lighter on my stomach. That's a strawberry refresher with lemonade. Thank you, Cynthia. Cynthia, I'm still drinking coffee on you from Starbucks. I did have some orders over on, both on Virtual Antique Marketplace. Well, one order on Virtual Antique Marketplace and then some orders on eBay. So I thought I'd go ahead and pull those. And I always walk over here and I don't bring a basket. Well, I'll use this basket. 
Let me empty it out. Okay. Sold on Virtual Antique Marketplace, these little pixie salt and pepper shakers. Just listed them yesterday. Um, I think I got these at the extravaganza, I do believe. So those guys sold some cars down there. Sold. I'll dig through that here in a minute. And then Mexican Pottery Cup and Saucer. Oh, you. We've got, this is Ken Edwards. You can see it's Ken Edwards right there. We've got the little uh, teacup and then a plate and a saucer, like a bread plate and the saucer. All marked Ken Edwards Tanala on the bottom. So those sold on eBay. And then a car and then this. Oh, where'd it go? This. I just listed it. I got these. I pulled these from the bins about a month or so ago. And got them listed in this one, the geranium. It's never been used, but that was a great find. It was inside a tin at the bins. And then I've got some cars. I'm going to have to look at the picture of the cars to make sure I'm pulling the right one. So apparently it's these Knockdown and Minicon Transformers from 2008. I don't know. So those sold. You know what? Look at me. I probably could just carry all these like this. And not have to take the basket. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to get these items shipped. And then I'm going to take them to the post office right away. Because I do have a meeting at 11. It's 8.30. Uh, it's about 9. Oh, 8, 8, 8.45. Oh, and this alien guy, a viewer had messaged me and wanted to purchase him. So I did sell him. Just waiting on their information. So I'm going to get him ready to be shipped as well. But for right now, just these little guys. And then I'm going to take them immediately to the post office and get ready for my meeting. Hi. I just got back from the post office and I opened up some of my new Lensmart glasses. I did film a short and a reel over on the Misty Show and over on Instagram. So you'll be able to catch that there. I think maybe on Facebook too. So Lensmart is where I get all of my glasses. And I love this pair. But I'm going to let you wait and see the reel and the short and all that. Which you probably already have because I'm probably going to put it up today. And you're not seeing this until Sunday. But I went to the post office and I picked up a few things. So I thought I'd just go ahead and open those up now. First thing I got was a postcard from Scott Michaels and Troy. Let me just tell you. If you are not watching Dearly Departed tours with Scott Michaels. You are sadly just, what are you doing? You know what I mean? What are you doing? Watch, subscribe to his channel. I will link his channel below. If you like vintage Hollywood and kind of Hollywood lure, go subscribe to Scott's channel. But I did send him a few things and he sent me a postcard and it says, um, Misty, we are, uh, we are literally grooving on the vinyl at this moment and 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 looking through all of the lee gossip he also likes liberace i mean people who like liberace we're we're an odd bunch but that's okay i love that he also sent it on a little uh little vintage postcard that's where my husband is right now he's in san francisco but not with me because he's going for work um, this next box is, look how cute this box is, a Sanrio box. Another channel that you should be subscribed to is D, The Thrill of the Thrift. I watched her haul video the other day, well, it was last week, and she was hauling a purse, and I immediately stopped what I was doing, and I sent her an email, and I said, D, how much you want for that purse? And she told me, and I said, mine. I liked it, so we're going to open it. And I, I'll link Dee's channel in the description. If I say that I'm going to link somebody's, somebody something in the description and I don't do it because sometimes I forget. Because sometimes I edit very late at night and then I just forget. You can send me a message or leave it in the comments. Say, hey, don't say, hey, you big dummy. I was going to say, say, hey, you big dummy, you didn't link. Don't say that. Be nice and say, hey, can you link Scott's channel? Or, hey, can you link Dee's channel? And I'll do that. Oh, I needed something that like that, that I could keep my purse. Oh my gosh, this is. 
I need something I can, I, let me finish my sentence. I do that all the time. It drives my husband insane. I have ADHD. So sometimes things are like, pew, pew, and like, it doesn't like sit in my brain that I didn't complete what I was trying to say. And then I move on to something else. So what I was trying to say is that I need something to put my computer in and that sort of thing going back and forth, but also something that doesn't necessarily look like a computer bag. So, you know, I can run into the store or something and still have like a purse and not a computer bag. I'm hoping that my computer will fit in here, but let me show you the back of it first. It's a black leather purse and it's got unicorns and like celestial things all over it. It says Pony Road. Is that what that says? What does that say? Fanny Road. Fanny. Phony. Pony. I don't know what it says, but it's got little unicorns stitched all over it. But look at the hardware and stuff on it. How pretty that is. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention if she said who made this, bur this purse. But I just saw the size of it. And I saw that it had unicorns and mythical things on it. Fanny Road. Fanny Road. So it has a like a shoulder strap and this. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to put my... Hopefully my, my laptop and my iPad and stuff will fit in here. I actually have a longer shoulder strap that I'm probably going to use with it but I love that that's all stitched on there oh I love it thank you D she sent it out like like that next I have something from Lynch from Alabama please Mr. Postman oh I love that you wrote that on there it's a book I love books so much me too I'm actually selling two books today from my personal collection but I, that I have doubles of. And I honestly didn't think about, I didn't, I kind of wanted to keep even the doubles because I'm stingy like that. But I hope that somebody else will love and appreciate them too. Oh my goodness, I see Little House on the Prairie. <sighs> the Little House cookbook look at paul and ma and all the people frontier foods from laura ingles wilder classic stories bean soup baked beans huckleberry pie sun-dried wild fruit oh i love this and it's got like little blurbs from where it was at in the stories i bought the whole series of books again that i'm wanting to read again they have there's they're controversial now they really kind of are but um I haven't read them since I was a child, and I want to read them as an adult now, too. Look, that cat's hiding behind the cheese so he can get that mouse. Oh, these are all just little blank cards. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Okay, so we have the letter here. This is from Kathy Lynch, and it says, Dear Misty, I came across this book, and after watching countless hours of your videos, much to my enjoyment and my old man's bewilderment, <laughs> I, uh, I decided to pack it up and send it to you. I hope you keep... I hope you keep making your fun and entertaining videos as long as you don't burn out. Thanks for sharing. Kathy Lynch. P.S. Kudos, kudos to Vamp. Who knows? One day I'll apply to be a seller. I have lots of good stuff. I did one, and once enjoy selling but i'm on a break i get it pss i remember when you first came out four or five years ago on youtube and came and, and came over from somebody's channel so i've been watching since then off and on now all on thank you kathy pssss had to include two cards glasses and cheese watch wallace and gromit if you haven't already oh i have watched wallace and gromit well kathy that was very sweet these are cool cats cards. That was very sweet, Kathy. Thank you so very much. And I love Little House on the Prairie. Again, I have said, well, I've said before, but I'm going to say it again. There is a wonderful podcast called Wilder, and you can listen to it on wherever you listen to podcasts. But it's a series, seven or eight maybe episodes, but Wilder on a podcast. It's a wonderful introspective look at Laura Ingalls Wilder and her whole family. And it'll get you thinking a little bit too. Okay, so 
Stephanie, I don't know if this is who, Stephanie um, sent me a message and said that she was sending me something from Amazon. So I think that this might be from Stephanie. <gasps> yes, enjoy your gift. Happy Halloween from Stephanie Kai. I had the pleasure of meeting Stephanie at the end um, during the Valentine's Day um, event in Seoto. Oh my goodness. Stephanie sent me a Happy Halloween countdown advent calendar. And look, they're little blind bags of all these creepy guys. Look, there's Freddy. Oh, I don't like that one. Pennywise. Oh my gosh, we can't we have to start this on October 1st. Well, we got an advent calendar. I also have a sticker one, but you don't get to start that until I think the 13th of October. So, yay! And the vlogs will get to open up a new little critter every day. Stephanie, that was very sweet. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Deep. Thank you, Scott and Troy, for the postcard. Thank you. Thank you guys all so very much. All right, I am going to clean up my mess here. I have a meeting in an hour and I kind of wanted to get a few listings up before my meeting. So let me, let me get everything cleaned up and I'll head on over to my meeting. Well, I had a sale on virtual antique marketplace. That little guy, I did take a best offer. Remember you can send your sellers an offer and they can decide if they want to accept it or not but this cute little topper I did get from the extravaganza and I listed him and he sold so I'm going to ship him out I just got done with my meeting uh, which was a virtual antique marketplace meeting with the team and then um getting ready to have my Tuesday lifestyle with Michael so I'm going to ship this out first or I'm going to get it ready to ship out first and then have my sale good morning Mark is in San Francisco this week, but I got little Maybell keeping me company on Mark's side of the bed. <laughs> Good morning, Maybell. Good morning. This is a sweet little baby. Well, this morning we have a lot to do today, Maybell. Well, you don't have a lot to do, but I have a lot to do today. I'm going to be doing shipping today. So, we need to get out of bed. <laughs> yes. We need to get out of bed. And we gotta get going. Yes, we do. And Mr. Fluffer. Yeah, he sleeps down at the end of the bed. He's a good, good little angel, though. He is. He's a sweet little baby. Good morning, Maybell. It's Wednesday. You have been bark, bark, barking, talk, talk, talking. And as soon as I turn the camera on, you don't say anything. Well, are you going Okay, are you going to say happy Wednesday? Happy Wednesday to all of our friends. Mommy has to ship today. I know you miss daddy. I miss daddy too. He'll be home in a couple days. I know it's it's hard just not ha having daddy here, but he'll be home in a couple days. I know. Well, he'll he'll be home soon. I know. I know it. Well, we got it. But you have to stay here today. Why? Well, okay. Why? Mommy goes to work, and mommy packs people's items to send them to their new homes. Okay. Is that all right with you? Okay. Treaty time. Treat. Oops. Treats. For Maybell. Sit. High five. There you go. Bye. Okay. I decided I'm not going to make a frappuccino. I just kind of want an old-fashioned coffee. So I have my coffee maker at the shop. I'm just going to make my, my cup of coffee. Ugh. A cup of coffee there. Yes, Mr. Fluffer Pants. Oh, I see his butt. Hi, Fluff. Mabel, you ate that treat already? You're a beast. Today I'm going to do shipping 
and I need to film a few videos because I'm going on vacation the end of next week. I'm going to Mackinac. So I'm excited for that, but I got to prepare a little bit beforehand. My mother is actually coming for a visit on Sunday. So I've really got to get this house cleaned up because, you know, it's, it's really pretty, pretty bad. I haven't dusted in quite a while and I got to get her bed and everything ready. So I'm probably going to stay home the majority of Thursday. Maybe we'll, we'll do some things around the house, but, um, it's pretty bad in here. It doesn't look that bad, but you can't see the dust that is, oh, it's, 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 it's really bad. And I need to clean my floors. So I'm probably going to do that on Thursday, but today we're going to ship. I got to film, I'm going to try to film some hauls for my second channel and get some things edited, get some things listed. I did have some sales. We'll pull those, but I'm kind of just feeling like a nice warm cup of coffee. It's a little chilly this morning. I got on a flannel, uh, but let's go ahead and get, uh, let's go ahead and get to the shop. Well, I'm here at the shop and I'm getting ready to make my coffee, but I did have some sales on eBay and on FAMP last night or overnight. So I'm going to pull those. Okay. I have a basket back here. One of them they have on eBay hasn't been paid for yet because I just accepted the best offer, but I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'm going to leave it up there. I'll show it to you, but I'm going to leave it up there until they actually pay for it. Uh, but we have on virtual antique marketplace, this beautiful Viking bird soul. It did take a best offer from Nicky um, for, uh, 85, 80. $80. I can't remember. 80 or $85. I do believe. Um, I paid $15 for this. So that was a great, Oh, you make me nervous bird. I'm going to lay you in there just like that. And then I sold, where did they go? Did I already pack them up? Did I already talk about them yesterday? Well, they were the little, uh, pink pixie salt and pepper shakers. Did I talk about those? Well, if I didn't, I'll put the picture up, but I don't see them now. I might've already packed them up and forgot to uh, to show them on the screen. But they sold as well on Virtual Antique Marketplace yesterday, as well as, well, this sold on eBay, this Mara mug. Mara mug, I did take a best offer. The Mara Mexico, I always buy these. They always sell for me. Uh, so those things sold. And then this guy, this Pac-Man, those little hands back there, those are on sale. Those are worth about 25 bucks, believe it or not. They were in all the Halloween stuff. But this little Pac-Man, little mini arcade game sold for, I think for 140. I'm going to leave it up there until the buyer pays for it, but that sold as well. But I did get some new listings up on Virtual Antique Marketplace. I listed the Holt Howard Santas. I listed these little um, Lefton Firefighters. The, I think I have these listed, the Epcot Salt and Pepper Shakers. I don't remember if I do or not. Those are listed. I know that I think that they're listed on eBay, but, um, yeah, lots of shelves of things of here. I'm, I'm hoping that the sales start picking up with these things. Otherwise I'm going to have to start pulling these items and selling them in my live sales, but I'm going to carefully, Oh, I don't want to grab you by the neck either. Viking bird. We are going to get these items shipped and, um, I am going to ship my items that I sold in yesterday's a YouTube live sale, which are all of these items. So all of these items will get sold or will get shipped and I'll do these first, get them done and out of the way. And for right now I'm going to make my coffee, get some caffeine coursing through my veins. Let's do that now. And well, I've, I've got coffee up there, but I've been just taking it out of this box just so I can empty this box. Cheesecake fantasy. No. Oh, mystery. Ooh, I'm not that brave today. If you don't know, I order all of these oh so many uh, variety pack coffees for my cake for my Keurig uh, here at the shop cuz I like to change it up. I don't like to have the same thing every day. What's this one? Mucho gusto. Cafe Dolce de Leche. Mm, maybe. They've got coconut cream pie. There's like blueberry cinnamon. Oh, I don't like cinnamon. 
vanilla spice, Vienna mocha chunk. I know this is boring for you. Oh no. Donut stop. I'm going to have to find one and maybe in the drawer. There's like a blueberry. Oh, that's a cordial cherries. Java jingle. All right, let me find the one that I want. All right, I have chosen vanilla dream. Vanilla butter toffee flavored coffee. Look at those little key cat ice cream. I think they're key cat ice cream guns. I don't know, but let me know if you want me to send you a link for this coffee. I just like a variety. I also really recommend Crave coffee. You can get it in a variety packs too. I really like Crave coffee as well. You can get them both on Amazon, but I, I just like something different in my coffee. I don't like the same thing every single day, unless it's pumpkin spice season at Starbucks, and then I tend to get the same thing. But today, we're just going to do some vanilla butter toffee. Also, I need to take this where I can see it. This fabulous thing I'm keeping, it is a haunted house. But look, these have fallen off. They need to be re-glued back on there. It's, uh, they're trick-or-treaters, but they're, they're like the Wizard of Oz. They go right there. And then there's little ghosts and stuff that are, but I've got to take this home. Um, it's quite big. It's got the little lighted up base, but I'm going to take it home. And tonight I'll show you what it looks like when it's all lit up and spooky. Getting ready to get started on my shipping, but I'm going to play some vinyl. Um, all of my friends brought me presents. Or most of them brought me presents over the weekend that I saw. But I got a Liberace Christmas album. I got Liberace, my most requested. Liberace, the love album. Liberace, Mr. Showmanship. And my parade of golden favorites, Liberace. So I got some good listening music tunes today i'm even going to play the christmas one we're going to get these set up on my record player and get to shipping oh better i plum forgot that this sold who on virtual antique marketplace i got a lot of empoli to ship today Oh, Lord have mercy. But this sold on Virtual Antique Marketplace. I love that it's so squatty. Oh, I love that. So this sold, and I'm going to get this shipped, and then that'll be done. I'll be done with my VAMP and eBay sales, and I got to focus on those guys. Now, I've had some people ask me if I would show them, do like a little shipping tutorial, and I know that that probably bores most people to tears, but I thought since I've had all, all this Empoli to ship, good Lord, look at that mess over there. Oh, now there's a mess over there. Pay no attention to the mess that surrounds me, but I'm going to do a little tutorial on shipping this here Empoli. As you can see, I filled the void. You fill the void with some paper. I got all kinds of paper in tubs. Whenever I get a package, I recycle all the paper. I don't typically like to use newspaper. I don't like the way the news, it's, I'm, a, I'm very much a textural person. I don't like the way newspaper feels on my hand. I'm not saying that you can't use newspaper. Use whatever you can. It just really, it, it ruins my day when I have to touch newspaper. I'm not, I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. So I prefer newsprint. I do get mine from Amazon. I would like to find a big bulk place that I could just get tons of paper because I go through a lot of paper. But, um, and bubble wrap. I do get my bubble wrap from American Bubble Boy, which I do have a link in the description of every video that if you would like some bubble wrap, you can get uh, some, save some money with American Bubble Boy. It gets delivered to my door. I never have to go out and buy bubble wrap. In fact, I have another order that should be here today or tomorrow. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and ship this, but you can see I filled the void with some recycled paper first. I'm going to go ahead and assume that this here, let me check something real quick. Okay. It's important to me. I know this is probably going to, I'm probably going to put in 12 by 12 by eight box. Probably that's what my first gut instincts tells me. Um, but I like to see where it can't, where it's going to be shipped to. Cause I want to save my customer as much money as I can with shipping. So I do have the, the, priority USPS 12 by 12 by eight boxes that you can get from free on USPS.com. But I also have some plain 12 by 12 by eight brown boxes that I could ship things ground advantage. So depending on where the customer is at, I can save them money. Like 
half the amount of money. So that's important to me. I want to save my buyer as much as I can in shipping, but I want it to get to them as safe as possible. So this is going to Florida. So I'm in Indiana. It's going to Florida. It's pretty safe to assume that the shipping will be okay sending it in a 12 by 12 by 8 USPS priority box. You're going to go for a ride, as you always do in my videos. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to make my box. Now, we'll see. After, you know, in my mind, I think this is going to go in the 12 by 12 by 8 box. However, once I get it all wrapped up, it might be bigger than that. So, what I like to do is just go ahead and get the box started. And then I go ahead and crumple up about four, maybe five pieces of paper. I prefer the paper in the long sheets just because I can lay them right. I can lay it right next to me and it's just easier. You can get it in rolls too. I've done it both ways, but I, I just, I prefer um, doing it in sheets so I can lay it right next to me. So we're making a little nest. Ooh, let's not break the thing before we get it shipped. We're going to set that there. I'm going to go ahead and roll out I have a little contraption, which is just a piece of string going from one end to the table to the other, you know, for my bubble wrap. You could be creative, whatever works for you. It's very, very nice that I have this nice area where I don't have to take it down. You know, I, I used to when I did all my reselling out of my house. I lived out of storage containers and all my shipping supplies. So I like to spread that out right there. And then... I'm going to grab a couple pieces of paper, probably two to make it thick, thick with two C's and two K's. All right, so we've got a little stem here. So what I like to do is get some of my either spare bubble wrap or spare paper, whatever I have on hand, and just kind of wrap that around the base just to give it a little bit of support. The neck. I wrap that around there like that. Then let me angle you down a little bit. Oh no. Then I'm going to use my paper and I'm going to wrap it in paper first. This is a step that I used to not do, but I think that it 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 does protect it a little bit more. That's just my opinion. And then I'm going to kind of fold this kind of all around that glass tape it. This is just like the pre-wrapping of your glass. Listen, also people do things differently. So if this is, if you don't wrap yours in paper first, that's completely fine and that works for you. I just prefer to do it this way. Then we're going to tuck and roll. So we've got our, our glass wrapped in our paper. Our voids are filled. We're going to tuck and roll. Tuck and well, we're going to do that a couple times. Then I'm going to break. The American Bubble Boy bubble wrap is perforated, so it makes it nice. So you can just kind of break it off. And then I'm going to kind of wrap and tape the seam there. Like that. And then I got my the rest of my bubble wrap. And I'm going to go the opposite side, like where I just taped. I'm going to lay that down there. And we're going to tuck and roll with the rest. Probably should have used just a little bit more. There's no rhyme or reason. You just kind of eyeball it. And then kind of feel around to see, does this feel safe and secure? Also, you notice that I am not wrapped. I'm not taping the brains out of this because for a couple reasons one it's not necessary it's not necessary two it's expensive you know you have to pay for this tape and three it will annoy your customer if they have to if it takes them 25 minutes to unwrap all of the tape i also don't like to use saran wrap or any of those kinds of things that if you want to use those things that's completely fine i just know as a customer i don't like i want to get to my item i don't like that it takes me 25 minutes to untape things also i don't i'm going to put some more bubble wrap on that because i don't like the way that feels on those weak points also i w would hope 
that my customer maybe will reuse this bubble wrap in some way, shape, or form. And if I'm just using a couple pieces of tape, it's going to enable them to be able to reuse it. So I don't like the way that this feels in that weak point there, so I'm going to put another layer. You could also put another layer of paper around it if you want to. I'm just going to use the bubble wrap. You're making a nice big ball or square, I guess. And I'm looking at this thinking, I don't know if it's going to fit in a 12 by 12 by 8, but I may want to double box a 12 by 12 by 8 as well. So that makes me feel a little bit better. This is a really big piece, so I'm not going to wrap tissue paper around it because it's too big. Woo! Look at you going for a ride. But I am going to put some tool around it. I get the, my tool and that kind of stuff on Amazon just to gussy it up a little bit. I'm going to put a virtual antique market. No, I'm not because they bought this from virtual antique marketplace. So they already know about it. I got a little pinup card, a blank card I'm going to put in there. I'm going to give them a virtual antique marketplace coaster and the all important business card. So they know who you are and they know where they can find you if they want to buy from you again. So you want to make their experience a pleasant one. I'll zhuzh it up with a little sticker, and there we go. Um, so we're going to see, I don't know, we're going to see if this is going to fit in here. Probably it will. Yes, it will. We're going to push it down a little bit. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put, we're going to cradle it in. So we're going to make sure all four sides have lots of cushioning as well as the top. We put that layer of paper on the bottom. We're going to also put it on the top. And we're going to make sure that when we shake the box that nothing gets shaken around. So we're going to make a little nest, basically, and surround it with cushioning and paper to prevent it from hopefully breaking and shipping. Because these boxes are going to get, they're going to get tossed around a lot. Because that's just what, you know, that's just what they do. They're loading the trucks, they're tossing the boxes around. So you need to pack it as if someone's going to drop kick it from the top of the Chrysler building. You know what I mean? Is it even called the Chrysler Building anymore? I'm thinking of Annie. It's going to shine. You're going to mop until this floor shines like the top of the Chrysler Building. It's a hard knock life for us. Anybody else like show tunes? It's just me. I did pause my Liberace just so I can make this. Thing. Normally Liberace just helps me ship. Keeps me company. Serenades me. I love it when Liberace sings. Those are my favorite songs of his when he's singing to them. I personally love his singing voice. That's just me. All right, I'm feeling like we got it good there. I might use some of my extra bubble wrap that I have in my bin. To lay that across there. And then we're going to close up the box. Tape it down. Now I'll be saying hard knock life all day. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. It's a hard knock life for us. Instead of cheated, we get tricked. No. Instead of kisses, we get kicked. Instead of um, it'll, it'll come to me in the middle of the night. But you can see our box. No sound. I would feel okay if this, well, I mean, I wouldn't want it to be, but I mean, if this box were dropped kicked from the top of the Chrysler building, it might have a chance. It might have a chance. So we're going to go ahead and get this shipped. This was sold on Virtual Antique Marketplace. So I don't have, I didn't have to send an invoice. No, I didn't have to get their contact information. No. All I have to do is go on Virtual Antique Marketplace to where my to my uh, my seller dashboard, put in the dimensions and the weight of this box, and hit print, and that's it. All right, so that one's that one's done. Those other two are going to be a little bit more tricky because the the stems they're a little bit longer and they're going to the same person. So I'm going to have to be creative, but I'm not going to bore you with that. But I'm I'm basically going to do the same thing: fill the void. Wrap the stems, cradle it in the box, ship it like it's going to be dropped from the top of the Chrysler building, and um, and and we're good. So, yeah, I mean, I haven't done a shipping thing in a long time, but 
a couple people had asked me if I would, so I thought I would just go ahead and do it. I know that it bores some people. I used to do shipping videos all the time, and nobody ever watched them, so um, I hope that this was somewhat entertaining for you. Let me know in the comments. Do you want me to do more? Now, if you say that you do, then you need to make sure that you watch them and tell all your friends to watch them because they take a lot of time to do. Because I can just ship, 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 ship real quick like it's nobody's business. But if I'm filming it, it takes a little bit more time. So tell your friends if you want me to do more ship with me videos. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and print the label off this and then get the rest of these things shipped. Thank you for watching. Okay, I am home now. It's so weird because while Mark is gone this week. I had such big plans. I'm going to stay up all night and I'm going to get stuff done. I'm going to work until eight o'clock at the shop. I'm going to get stuff done. And I've been coming home and like I was in bed at 10 o'clock last night. It's weird. All these things that I want to do because like I can do it because I, I, I'm, you know, I can and I'm, I'm still not. So, but I did bring home the spooky haunted house. Now, one of the little lights isn't twinkling, so I'm going to have to get a different bulb for it, but I love it. I'm getting ready to add all the accessories. <gasps> okay, so there's our little witch. Now, she's got a broken broomstick, but I don't care because she's fabulous. Look, there's a little owl. In the spooky haunted house. Look at the little pumpkin down there. Okay, so I'm going to add the little, um, these little guys. So I have to, they really should probably be glued back on maybe. Because, well, maybe not. Maybe they can just stand right there. See? There's the little trick-or-treaters. And then I'm not sure where, I think these ghosts were just, I don't know. Like, it looks like one of them was there. Because it's got some glue on the bottom. Like, it was maybe glued up there. So, I might have to get some E6000 and glue those back on there. And then there's a couple little ones in the bag as well. Like, this little, that little trick-or-treat guy. He might have been there. And then this other one probably was on... Uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to see where the remnants, because you, you can see where right there, there's some like glue residue. Maybe he was, I don't know, but I love it. I'm, and I'm glad that I decided to keep it. Okay. Maybell, the curtain is closed. So I love it. I do. So tomorrow I do have to run to the post office and I probably will run into the shop just to get the other packages that haven't, or that I've waited to be, that is still are waiting to pay. But I'm going to clean this house tomorrow. I'm going to dust. I'm going to clean my floors. I'm going to clean my bathtub. And I did order something to help out with that. This. Now, I'm going to test it out tomorrow. I got it from Amazon. Now, I have seen these little shower cleaner brush deals on TikTok for like $60. And I thought, hmm. I'm going to see what, what, how much they are on Amazon and they're like $27. So, um, I'm going to, it's charging right now and it is a scrubber. Oh, I just dropped it. Let's not drop it before I even have a chance to use it. I hate cleaning my bathtub. It's like the worst job ever. So vac life. <laughs> I couldn't remember what that said, but it has a couple different heads on it. So it's, it's charging right now, but I mean, I can turn it on. Give me a... So hopefully, hopefully that will help me with my bathroom cleaning. I have the pink stuff and I'm going to scrub my bathtub and we'll... And I'm just putting myself out there. It's disgusting. Okay. I don't have someone that cleans the house. I work all the time. Mark works all the time. It's gross. So it needs to be cleaned like bad. So I am basically taking the day off tomorrow to clean my house. Because it's gross. And my mom is coming to visit. So, I mean, why not clean the house when you're having company? So, I'm going to do that tomorrow. But I also have to edit videos and still maintain everything else that I'm doing. But I, I'm going to figure that out. But I'm just like, I want to go to bed. Do you know what I mean? I thought I was going to be up all night working on my diamond painting. No. No. 
turns out I just want to go to bed like he's already here. You know, 10 o'clock, Misty turns into a pumpkin lately. But I, I love my little creepy haunted house. I decided, I'm going to sit down real quick because there's no point in standing up. I decided, I told Mark, I said, Mark, we're not even going to get down the Halloween stuff that we have up in the attic because I, I, I decorated at the shop and by the time I put it all up, it's going to be time to put it all down. So we're not even getting out our Halloween. So that is my Halloween. It's like my Christmas tree, only that's the Halloween. I mean, I have a few little pieces here and there, pieces that I've just recently bought, but I'm not getting anything else down. We don't get any trick-or-treaters anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. But I'm going to... I still have tulips up. I'm telling you what, it's it's a hot mess up in here. i got sunflowers up. I need to switch things out a little bit for the holidays. But mainly, I need to clean my bathroom, especially my bathtub. So, fingers crossed that that little vacuum is going to do the trick. And it... I'm hoping, please, and if it works well, then I will link it, and I don't have a, I mean, I don't have a link that will save me money, I'll just link it, because you should know about it, too, so, I mean, I don't, I don't have a link that's gonna, I'm gonna get anything out of it, but if it works for me, in my disgusting, filthy shower, it might work for yours, too, so I'll link it below, but if it doesn't, where I'm gonna link it? I will just say, don't order this. Well, good morning and happy Thursday. I'm I'm staying home today. Ugh. Luckily, nobody has to seem like that. Actually, I do have to go to the post office here in a little bit. But I am, I just got out. I slept in until 8 o'clock, so that was nice. But I wanted to show you. Mark's supposed to be hanging this up. I couldn't get it because we got to move the nails over. But you see, I got this insane asylum entrance sign. And I paired my little mini Viking candy dishes. I only need the red one. But I'm I, I'm on a hunt for it myself. So I'm looking for the red one. I did have my little gay rainbow creamers there. But I decided to switch it out for those little... Those. I have my other ones in the other room. I'll show you those here in a second. So here are my other Viking candy dishes. I've got the... I have two big ones. I've got the orange and the blue up there it's all ebay this is all mark's ebay mess right there but then i've got some viking swung bases there the others are in the other room and then these are the medium size ones so i have i think i need the persimmon one so i need this collar in this size um, and then i will i'll have a complete set of those at least i think i'm gonna finish doing some editing and I'm just a mess today. I'm just not feeling that great today. So I've been taking little little breaks. Oh, oh, let me show you this. I updated my little Billiken collection. Ariana, Ariana, the Withering Cottage got me this from the Extravaganza, that little Billiken. Um, and then I've got my, I bought this from Michael and my Billy Can and Billy Can't. And then I got this from uh, I think I got it. Oh, now you're going to talk from uh, an antique store. And then I have this little guy here down here too. But I redid it and dusted and put some arms and legs in that little thing there. But I got the, the mummy man back there for Halloween. Because like I said, I'm not doing a bunch of Halloween this year. I brought my little witch home. So she's hanging up there. That's about it. All right, Maybell, you can go outside. What? Are you hungry? Yeah? Okay. Are you trying to tell me something? What are you trying to tell me? Food. Eat. Hungry. Food. Eat. Are you hungry? Okay. Well, it is Thursday evening, and I'm still not feeling well. And I called my doctor. They prescribed me an, a different medicine because this one is not 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 working for me just just constant constant nausea so I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow I've, I've cleaned the house today I went to the post office I ship no did I ship anything well I went to the post office I've edited I worked on some paperwork I've worked on some listings 
I took a bath and I'm just resting now and I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do tomorrow if I'm going to go. I need to go shopping. I need to get some filming in. But honestly, if I'm feeling like I am right now, I'm going to stay home again tomorrow and just rest. And so I'm sorry that this vlog is probably going to be pretty boring of me cleaning my shower. Although that shower thing did end up working. I will try to link it in the description. Like I said, I'm not making any, any, I don't have an affiliate link or anything. It's just, if you want it, you can order you one. Don't get it on TikTok because it's twice as much money. Anyway, I'm just going to, I kind of, I miss Mark. I'm just going to have an easy night tonight. I think I'm going to watch something, some kind of biography or old Hollywood history something. And um, hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow and I can go do some shopping. So I'm sorry this vlog is pretty, it's pretty uneventful, but they be like that sometimes. Well, good morning and happy Friday. I'm going to end the vlog. I'm editing this video right now. It is five o'clock in the morning on Friday. I'm feeling much better. Still not feeling the greatest, but feeling much better. So I think I am going to get out and go to Indianapolis and then visit with Emma um, this weekend as well. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. It's quite long already. So I thought that might be a good idea. Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the vlog. And let me know about the shipping. If you that's something that you want me to do every once in a while. I'm also thinking that maybe I should break up the vlogs a little bit. Because they are quite long. So I don't know. You with me, think I change things up from time to time. So I'm just trying to figure out what would be best for me, what would be best for you as a viewer. So I'm just trying to figure things out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Hello, friends. Thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget, I have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come over and follow me. Also, don't forget that I have live sales every Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern right here on my YouTube channel. And go ahead and check out the virtual antique marketplace. It is an online antique mall. There's lots of different booths and lots of different sellers. So go check that out. The link to everything is down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one.